Today we're looking at the Wildway, FW11 3.0. Do not forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that bell. I'm only doing a basic overview, with some programming and mod tips. The Wildway FW11 3.0 has lots of great features, giant battery, 3 inch wide all terrain tires, solid build, 28 miles per hour top speed, 7 speed Shimano gears that are very good for a good workout, color display, nice big seat and more. The giant battery lets me ride well over 60 miles on a single charge. There are many YouTube review videos of the Wildway, FW11 3.0 that are excellent. I suggest watching Matt and his Tail Happy TV YouTube channel reviews of the Wildway FW11. There are many videos on how to assemble the Wildway FW11 3.0 that are very good, very helpful for installing the front tire with its quick release. One note, I set the quick release lever so it's on the other side of the front fork so it can't come loose. The brakes in this video are a bit noisy, I've adjusted them since, and they are now quiet. I've been riding e-bikes for 2 years now, and this is my second e-bike. E-bikes are great for getting me up hills and to places I never rode on my 3-speed beach cruiser, which is not good for climbing hills. My first e-bike was a Frigo EV T20, a small 50-pound e-bike with under 2-inch tires which are too thin, a very quiet e-bike, but with a small battery and not the best build, but I loved it. I just bought this Wildway FW11 3.0 and it's great, giant battery and 3 inch wide all terrain tires, a very solid build, very stable and surprisingly quiet, there's very little noise from the tires motor and gears at all speeds, and with the huge battery, I can easily e-bike over 60 miles on a single charge, the 3 inch wide tires are perfect for bike paths and streets, very stable and pass through sand on the bike path easily. The only thing I pretty much hate about the Wildway FW11 3.0 is the thumb throttle, the worst invention ever. I would much rather have a twist throttle. I also don't like the pedals, they are too small. I'll be replacing them soon with nice solid, wide, not folding pedals. And the battery charger is slow, takes many hours to charge when the battery is dead, and the fan on the charger is very noisy. I disable pedal assist, because I don't want my e-bike helping me pedal, I want the workout, and I can use the electric motor to climb steep hills. Now let's disable the pedal assist, you need to remove the 6 Phillips screws that hold the cover plate over the controller. Once you've opened access to the controller then you'll locate the black cables, with orange connectors and simply unplug the connectors, that disables the pedal assist. I suggest you cover the two orange connectors with a small plastic bag to protect them from water. I used a tie wrap to tie them together and keep the plastic bag sealed. Now let's program the Wildway FW11 3.0. Power the e-bike up, with the speed at zero. Hold both the plus and minus buttons down for over 2 seconds. The display will show a flashing 01p. Using the plus and minus buttons, you can step through the parameter settings. There are 11 parameter settings. Once you are at the parameter you want to change, touch the I button, the flashing will stop. You are now able to change a parameter. Using the plus and minus buttons, you change the parameter setting. Once you have select the parameter value you want, touch the I button again to go back to parameter selector, or long hold the I button to exit parameter settings and to go back to the operational menu. 
01P is for setting MPH or KPH indicator. 02P is control of voltage. This should be set to 48 volts. 03P is pedal assist range and speed limit. I change this to 0 to 3, and set each speed limit to 40, 50 and 100. These are percentage of maximum speed. 04P is wheel diameter, which should be set to 20 for 20 inch tires, for accurate speed indicator. By default it is set to 22, which gives a faster speed by around 5 miles per hour. 06P is speed limit setting. By default is set to 45 kmh. I increase this to the maximum of 51 kmh. 28 mph. This is up to you at your own risk. To give you an idea of the Wildway FW11 3.0 range, I've included screenshots of my e-bike ride maps, with distance and photos of the battery bars used for each trip. I'm 5 foot 9 inches, 155 pounds and on these trips I pedal most of the time, but also use the maximum speed about one quarter of the time. I can definitely get way over 60 miles on the Wildway FW11 3.0. Now let's take some rides on different terrain. To give you an idea of how quiet the Wildway FW11 3.0 is on different terrain.
the wild way, FW11 3.0. Do not forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that bell.